hi so this is going to be a shop bop and a little bit of mac shop cook collection haul from their latest um release and as well as some giveaway details of my first giveaway okay so jump right into it um if you don't know what shop bop is it's just an online shopping site for um designer fashion collections it has shoes accessories everything that you can dress from head to toe um so you know it's not cheap prices it's designer stuff um I so was i exclusive jennifer zuner this is the jennifer zuner jewelry um necklace right here it's in its package still and I got it um, it's just this color rhodium which is just like a dark metal color and um, it's just in a really dainty necklace form like this um, nothing special it just has an evil eye right there really cute and if you don't know what the evil eye is it's just a really popular um, emblem that is supposed to ward off evil spirits so if you have any bad girlfriends or just bad blood that you don't want to talk to or you want to stay away from then wear this but it's definitely not for like witchcraft or anything it's just a cute little evil eye necklace so I will be wearing that a lot racerback tank top like this this is the front right here. It's really high up, but I like it because the sides are really low cut. Like this is the side, and I, I'm I got this just to lounge around in, you know, traveling or going to work out. And the back is really cool. Like it's just just a racer back, um, no sleeves like this. Just like a long white flowy tank top, and it's just really good quality. It's no one really amazing it's by the brand Pensy Standard I don't know if you've heard of it or seen any celebs wearing it but um, I just really like I'm into basic neutral colors now and this just has really good quality material so it'll last me a long time even if it's a white it's a top. Rebecca Taylor silk blouse and it they gave it me the wrong item <laughs> like I was so mad um it it wasn't what I ordered. It was a silk long sleeve blouse, and it's supposed to have a cutout right here in the color, like an off white mauvey color. And it said they gave me this Rebecca Taylor pullover. It was like leopard print, and I I was like, this is not what I ordered. So I I called, emailed customer service. You know that wasn't. I mean I've. I've only ordered from them twice, this is my second time, but um, I was like, this is so unlike someone to put the wrong thing, like this is not what I ordered, and could you please give me what I want? <laughs> and unfortunately they didn't have what I um, originally had ordered, so I had to just return it, but this is the last thing that I got. It. Let me show you. It's what I'm wearing now to work. Um, it's just this helmet laying um, off the shoulder um, sweater. Let me show you. And I really like it because of this um, see-through cutout shoulder right there. So it has cutouts um, on both sides. Yeah, and the front is just like this. I'm just wearing a tank top under it so you don't see my skin. Um, and it's just really fine quality. Like, let me just show you how it looks up close. Isn't that so unique? And the back isn't anything special. I just really like it because it's plain and simple, but it still has some interest and a little peekaboo skin kind of showing. So, um, yeah, and then the cool thing about this is, let me show you. So, um, I'm wearing it with jeans. It has an asymmetrical hemline like this. So the bottom goes past my waist, and it's just asymmetrically cut. So on this side, it's kind of higher, but this side is lower. So this is the the bottom. I'm just wearing it with some Hollister jeans. Um, just, you know, it's kind of a rainy day outside, so I didn't want to be too dressy, but I wanted to wear this, and I, I just love it. I ordered it in a size medium, and I didn't think it would fit me, but, you know, since I order everything in a medium now, then it's fine. So yeah, and then I'm just wearing my watch, but just keeping it kind of simple today. And then, oh yeah, so Mac. I went to Mac yesterday, and I went specifically for the Nicki Minaj uh, Viva Glam lipstick 
for and if you if you aren't familiar with the Viva lipsticks 100% of the proceeds go to go to um, towards the HIV and AIDS um, charity fund that they have and I love it I love supporting any kind of nonprofit in any way possible that I can so whenever I get a chance to do that and if, if it's makeup then of course so I picked up that I was surprised that they hadn't sold out of it yet because originally I didn't really want it I was like I already have her Pink Friday lipstick so I don't know if I should really need this but oh my gosh it's for a good cause and it's a different color pink that I don't have so of course I will get it and this is it right here it's just this is the bottom right there and it's just in a really cute hot curl pink I don't know if it, it's in the camera it looks like originally her Pink Friday but I promise you it's more of like a corally pink I hope so but if not I'll return it I don't think so apparently according to Temptalia it's nothing like the original pink so let me just show you up close and there's her signature right there <sighs> love it really there's not much else to say but I can't wait to wear it and I picked I didn't pick up um, anything else really except for this one item from their um, shop cook or cooking shop map collection I don't really know the name of the title but this is the packaging uber duper cuties cutie patootie and it just looks a lot like the the bright neon orange collection they had like a couple summers ago I don't know what it's called but it was like alien out of this world seance something but um I got a cream blend br blush blush not a brush and I need more cream blushes because they're so like moisturizing on your cheeks and they really just feels nice against the skin if you want to change out your powder blush then a cream one is the way to go and I wasn't sure which one to get I got it in the color Razzle Restores Dazzle Razzle Restores Dazzle and um, it's just it's I thought it was like a raspberry kind of color. It's like a raspberry mauve. I'm sure you've seen this a lot. Um, in this, under the store lights look like fuchsia raspberry, but they had two other cream blushes. It was a pink and an orange, and for some reason those were sold out. I was like, why? Like those aren't even, you know, wearable colors. It's like bright, bright. But I mean, it's for it's a trend for the spring, so I understand why. So I got this restores dazzle I, I think I want to say razzle because it looks like a raspberry but this is the color right here um, I could do swatches on my blog if you want and I just thought it was a really pretty color against my skin tone like even the the lady that checked me out she was like um, I think this will look really good against your face I mean like um, against your skin color like it'll really pop because I have darker skin um, yellow skin <laughs> So those are all of the haul to show you, just those five items, and now the exciting part, um, I wanted to do a giveaway because, um, you know, not only to generate more publicity for myself, for my brand, but um, I just wanted to say thank you so for my older, earlier subscribers, so what I'm going to do is... This is officially the start kickoff of the giveaway, the first giveaway. And um, how it works is I will be saying a secret word and I'm not going to tell you when. It's going to be in one of my videos and you have to listen for that secret word. Like I will tell you it's a secret word and then um, it won't say it in the title. You just have to listen for it. and. And then when I decide that I want to end the giveaway, I the first person to message me the secret word and is also a subscriber of mine, I will give you the prize. So um, this is how it's going to work for the first couple giveaways, but I think it's a really nifty idea um, if I do the secret word thing. So just watch out for that, and I'm sure you all want to know what you're playing for. Well, not playing for. This isn't a game. What kind of is? You are <laughs> going to be playing for this, my guys. 
Hello, these are Patricia Field for uh, Payless boots. I got them a while back when they had the first designer collections for Payless and I went crazy and goo goo gaga over it. But these are just simple suede black boots and the heel just looks like that. Um, it's really on trend for the color blocking, the silver and the pewter gray metal. Um, it has a thick heel and it's kind of like that snake skin feeling and of course it's just a little bit of a platform but they're super comfortable. I've only worn them once and so um, they're in good condition and they're a designer like Patricia Field. I don't know if you've ever heard of her. She was one of the or is the costume designer from the Sex and the City series so um, I really honestly was one of the first places that I tried to get an internship at in New York but they didn't call me back but I love her to death. She's like along the same kind of lines as Betsy John and I think she's just fabulous and bold and just doesn't um, apologize for it. So um, this is the bottom of the boot. And if you're wondering what size it is, it is the most popular shoe size in the world for women on this planet. I wear a seven and a half ladies. So if you are a seven and a half and you listen for the secret word in one of my videos, then this is all yours. Like there is no catch. It's as easy as pie, easy as one, two, three. So, um, yeah, these are the boots. I hope you guys like them because they're really bold and they're black, so you can wear them with everything. They're actually kind of high. Um, I want to say from this, maybe it's like four or five inches, but if you think about it with the platform, so it really starts route right here, so it's like three inches, something like that. So maybe five altogether. This is a five inch heel. But I'll post more details about this. But um, yeah, so I'm really excited. My first giveaway. I hope you like it. And um, I should probably, I should probably show you the other shoe. So this is the pair right here. If it looks like this, these shoes were made for walking. So um, I hope you like it. And I honestly love it. There's nothing wrong with them. I promise you. I'm not just giving you like a shitty pair. I don't know if I'm even allowed to say that. There's nothing wrong with them. Like it's not broken, torn, damaged. Um, I mean it's worn like one so obviously there's scuffs on it. But everything you need to know I promise um, it's good. And I'll post more pictures I guess on my blog. So if you want to see this up close. And, um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching my haul and giveaway details video, and I will talk to you later.